Hey everybody, it's Asa Eric, and we are in the garage, wet sanding, um, getting this thing ready for blending, painting this weekend. Uh, so what we got going on here, uh, this is all wet sanded in 600, um, and ultimately will want to be 800. Uh, I checked with Gabe on uh, Motivated Painters, um, and he said for his Enviro base they use 800 wet. Um, I don't have any 800 wet, so I have to order some. So uh, I'm going to do this in a thousand ultimately. Uh, the rest of the car will do in uh, 800. Um, so I'll go a little finer rather than coarser. Here I think that'll be fine. Um, and just kind of give you an idea of the process here. So we got a bucket of water with a little bit of soap in it. I got this DuraBlock soft block there. The paper, uh, where's my paper? Paper wrapped around the block. This is the DuraGold 600 one I'm using. Um, I don't know if you guys remember from the last video or any of the other videos, there was this really nasty big chunk of yuck, like a big black wire. I don't even know what that was. It was really awesome. It turned out to be right on the surface. So it just, just scratched right off when I did it, so that was awesome. But uh, I'll give you an idea here. So take a spot like this right here. You can see that's a, one of those big black chunks right there. Um, let me get the paper here. So I'll mist that down with a little bit of water in a bottle there. There's our little spot. You can see right there. Relax with this a little bit here. That guy's pretty well done already. Um, I take a sponge, rinse it off. Let's get that little thing like that. So there you can see there's still a little halo around it. So I'm trying to get rid of those halos. Um, as we've talked about before, there's only one coat of clear on here on top of the tri coat. So I can't get too crazy with this. So what I'm looking for is if I say any pink in that soap, then I've gone too far. Uh, that's only happened in one place uh, on the other side of the car in this little corner here. I probably just ran off a corner or something. Uh, I don't really care over there because I'm blending that out, so it doesn't really matter. Let me see, that's almost gone. So I'll work on that a little bit. So, you know, after the first application, it'll look something like that. Um, and unless it looks really horrific, I should be able to get it to lay out flat. Um, it doesn't look like I'm having any trouble getting this little bit of orange peel out um, with the 600. Again, I have to be careful not to go too deep, um, but I haven't had any problems yet. Um, and this this is a, another test case again. Since I'm blending this hood out, if I screw something up here, I can fix it. Um, but kind of planning for the rest of the car. Uh, it's a, The rest of the car is just gonna be flow coated um, so if I have a little bit of orange peel like that left in it when uh, I do the flow coat, it's not the end of the world because I'm going to have to cut and buff the flow coat anyway. But ideally you want it to be as flat as you can for the flow coat. Um, but certainly here where we're adding more base, you definitely want it as flat as possible. So uh, that side of the hood for sure we want to be flat. So anyway, so this area here you can see is not... Not quite done yet, so what I do, it's pretty good in this area here, not so good in this area here. So what, after I've done the first, or a couple of applications, whatever, then I just come through and I mist the areas that I know need more attention. And then that kind of tells me where to where to spend my time. Uh, I'll take my block, rinse it off again, and then come over to all these areas that I just misted. Kind of hit them again. Again, just making sure we don't see any pink in here. So you see the dark color, that's the uh, abrasive itself, I think, is what causes that. And in here, let's go across. Something like that. And you can usually feel it, it's pretty smooth, but with this, uh, it's, it's not a lot of texture in this anyway, so it's hard to tell. And of course, on the edges here, you don't want to be going too aggressively on those edges. So I'll rinse off. Come back at this again. Give it a wipe. 
And if you wring the, the sponge out like I'm doing there, it's pretty close to dry. And so as soon as you wipe this off, basically it starts to dry and you can get an idea of how you did. So you can see all that orange peel over there is pretty much gone now. Just a little bit of it left in this area right here. So that's it, just keep doing that. And also if you want after hitting it with the sponge there, you can wipe it off real quick with a, a paper towel. Now you can skip the sponge step, but then you burn through a lot of paper towels. I find this helps a lot just to easing the sponge to get most of the water off. You can see that all looks pretty good now. Um, I am going over this gently with the 600 wet as well, but that's mostly going to be uh, gray scotch brighted. Um, you see this is all beautiful right here. Now, so let me see if I can fix that. I'm also trying to work on small areas at a time here to not to go too far. Stay in one little area. When you first go over it with the sandpaper, you can see the orange peel pretty well, but then pretty quickly you can't really see it anymore. And any of you guys who actually know what you're doing, <laughs> you see something you don't like here, let me know. Now this process seems to work pretty well for me here. Rinse. Let's see how we're doing. Like so. Let me give it a quick wipe with the paper towel. You can still see the orange peel there. I hope you can see that. That's pretty good for the most part. Um, you can also feel when you run over it with the paper towel, you can feel any uh, imperfections. So this thing over here is completely gone, which is awesome. Or not completely, a little tiny bit of something right there, but not much. Um, and again, any little shiny spots I see like that, we'll hit those with the gray scotch bright later to make sure everything's scuffed. All right, uh, let me go ahead and finish up the hood here and I'll bring you back. All right, that is gonna do it for tonight. Um, this guy's done in 600. There's still a few little shiny spots here and there, but I'll get those with either the gray scotch bright or the 1000. Still a couple little things like that around, but it looks pretty good. Um, there's more trash on this side than I thought, but I'm not going to try and bring the blend all the way over here. Um, it's not too severe. If you can see that look right there, maybe. And I found a hair in here too, which I didn't know I had. I don't know where it went. It's in here somewhere. Um, you can't see without the clear on it, um, but it's there. It's not, not too objectionable. Um, so yeah, I'm digging it. You can see a little bit of shininess in the center there. That's the stuff I'll get out with the 1000 um, or a gray scotch bright. And in here I found that uh, that DuraBlock soft block is gray. You're wrapped in 600. You can stick it down inside here and then go up on the edges like this. And you can see they're all pretty dull. Uh, so that cleaned them up pretty well. So same thing, I'll go back and look if there's anything shiny in there. Hit it with a scotch bright and clean it up. So I'll come back out here tomorrow and finish up. And I gotta do the bottom half of the fender uh, and then do everything in a thousand. And that's it. And then we'll be ready for paint this weekend. Uh, Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure which. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, and uh, you guys will be happy to know we'll have pops back in a couple of weeks. Uh, my mom's surgery went well. Um, she's up and about and doing well, so that's great. Thanks for everybody for your uh, thoughts and prayers. That really helps, so thank you very much. Um, so we should see Pops back in a couple of weeks. Uh, he'll be back just in time to do more sanding because I know how much he loves sanding. So he did such a great job of wet sanding the shell. We'll let him do some more wet sanding. How about that? <laughs> All right, so yeah, so plan of attack. Um, this will be done this weekend, and then that's got to sit for a couple of weeks before we flow coat it. Um, so while that's getting ready for flow coat, we'll be sanding 
Uh, piece by piece, we're going to do this a little bit at a time. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this um, given the state of the car, but I'll probably do this fender and the two doors, flow coat those at once, um, and then do the, do the back here all at once. Um, not sure. We'll see. Um, and I also have to do the black at the same time I do that. Um, I don't want to do the whole car at once, uh, just to minimize the amount of uh, chances for uh, trash to get in the paint. Um, so we'll do it a piece at a time. It doesn't matter. It's just clear. Uh, so that'll be fine. Um, yeah. Okay. So if anybody has any thoughts on uh, this uh, that you didn't like or thoughts for improvement or whatever, uh, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys this weekend when it's blending time. See ya.